former Obama campaign manager, David Axelrod, admitting reality, reality, that the more the left goes after Donald Trump, the more they make him, quote, indomitable seeming. This is, this is good. I mean, you know, I, I appreciate Axelrod at least being honest on this. And it is indeed the truth. And the left is so, frankly, out of touch that they don't realize that they're actually helping him not only to likely secure the nomination, don't forget it, it's Super Tuesday, but probably to beat Joe Biden. You look at every poll right now, and David Axelrod is telling them, listen, these lawsuits, they start adding up. They make him a far bigger deal. Take a peek. All of these legal travails that he has, all of these indictments, all of these lawsuits and so on, has given him a chance to look indomitable, look strong, look resilient. And that's actually in some ways helped him. Now, the main cases haven't gone to trial yet. That could be a different story. But he's actually used these to propel himself to this moment. Yeah. Well, think about it. I mean, you've got Letitia James going after the guy for a half a billion dollars. You don't think that some people in the middle are going to look at that and say, oh, gee, I think that's a little bit excessive, considering that there was no victim in that alleged crime. It's going to go now to the appellate court. But in the meantime, she's not even going to allow for what the 30 day stay where, you know, you get 30 days to be able to pay the bill. He offered her a hundred million bucks. She's like, no way. No, I want the full 500 and something. I mean, the number keeps getting inflated because you get a factor in interest and it's all of those things, et cetera. But it's wild. And so any normal person looking at that says, gee, how is that fair? How is it fair for Letitia James to come in out of nowhere and say, I don't think that Mar-a-Lago is worth that. By the way, great report. Actually, it was in Fortune magazine over the weekend about how real estate prices are just going up, up, up and away in Palm Beach. So whatever Mar-a-Lago was worth, it's probably worth more, even more at this point. Letitia's like, nope, I don't think it's worth that. And therefore, I'm going to, to sue you in civil court and hold you responsible for this. And put a, what was it, a, the judge put a $355 million price tag on him. And then you add up everything else and it comes north of $500 million. Or like I, I like to say, because this is reality, folks, half a billion dollars. And, and, and it's all politically charged. Remember, like... To, to simplify it a little bit, if you decide to go get a home equity line of credit and you go to your bank and you're like, hey, I would like a home equity line of credit. And they say, well, how much is your house worth? And I say, it's fine. You say, it's $500,000. My house is worth $500,000. And they say, well, we're going to send an appraiser out there to look and see if your house is worth $500,000. And then we'll make a decision on whether or not to lend you the money. Now, if the bank decides it's worth 500000 the appraiser decides it's worth 500000 and they lend you the 500000 then you pay the money back. I'm sorry, like, where's the problem? Well, Letitia's out there saying, no, 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 no. I think your house is worth only 350000 You're sitting there going, well, what the heck is this Letitia James coming in into my private business between my banker and myself? Right? Now, I mean, granted, he needs to be careful about the square footage. I think he said it was one thing and it was really another, but he did have a lot of little asterisks in there saying, do your due diligence. In other words, none of this is verified. Do your own due diligence. It was the bank's decision on whether or not to lend. The bank decided to lend. The bank got paid back and yet Letitia James swoops in and hits him with a half a billion dollars. David Axelrod, ladies and gentlemen, is positively absolutely right. The more they go after him, the more extraordinary he appears because people are like hey you still haven't got him the supreme court had to weigh in after the state of colorado said we're taking you off the ballot I believe the state of maine tried the same thing and then you had illinois as well and so all of these things start to add up and effectively are helping him to become a stronger candidate than ever before and you look at every single poll that comes out and every single one tells you the same thing. He's consistently five to six points ahead. Joe Biden was quoted today as saying, no, 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 I'm ahead in the polls. I'm ahead in five of them. It's like, no, buddy, you're actually behind five points <laughs> in all of them. I think there was only one in the last month. 
that showed anything different. So here's the reality of the situation at present. Donald Trump stands every shot of winning and the left is going to go absolutely bonkers between now and 2024.